Hey guys, so today I am smoking off this Weber Hightower smoker. Um, first time using it, can't wait, I'm going to be smoking some pork ribs today. So it should be good, it's around a six hour job. Just trying to get the temp up to um, the right temperature and, and then we can go. Alright guys, so I've just finished dry rubbing the pork ribs. Um, today I'm using this Oak Ridge barbecue dry rub. I bought it on Amazon for a few dollars. So I used it last time on uh, pork ribs that I did before. So I seem to like it. And this is yeah, competition beef and pork rubs. What I'll do now is just get the temperature up to scratch and then we'll throw the uh, ribs on. So I've just been in there for about an hour. I uh, sprayed it earlier, so I'm just gonna give it a quick spray. You can use water, um, lemon juice, apple juice, or cider. I'm using a cider vinegar, so just to keep it moist. So it's been cooking now just under three hours. I've had it smoking at about 125 degree Fahrenheit. I'm going to take it out now and wrap it up with some foil um, and inside that foil there's going to be a few things that I'll show you guys that I like that I use when wrapping these uh, pork ribs just gives a bit of extra flavor and taste so um, I'll take them out and I'll show you guys what I do when I wrap them up <music> the kitchen just about to wrap them up I've got the ribs so there's ways you can use to wrap your ribs up I saw this online and I've been using it ever since uh, watching a YouTube video a while ago all it is is it's brown sugar some more seasoning that I had on top of the ribs some butter and then I've got my sauce here which I've made it's a bit of paprika sauce barbecue sauce apple juice and whatnot so at the moment I'm just experimenting with sauces until I find one that I like I'm trying this new one today and yeah, so I'll wrap this up and then put it back on for another two hours and then I'll take it off, which I'll show you guys later and then just put the temp higher and, and let it cook through. So, let it get to work.
I'm just gonna put it in back in there, wrapped up. So back in, so I set my timer for another two hours, wrapped up, and um, leave it at the same temp, and then we'll come check it again after that. Two hours later. <laughs> Unwrapped them, I've thrown some sauce back on them, and now I'm just gonna throw them back into the uh, smoker and just let them smoke again for another hour or so, and then they should be done. But uh, so far, so good. Putting another base of, of barbecue sauce um, on the ribs, and then I'll let this sit for another hour, and they should be done. So, come on, pretty good actually. going on to three o'clock now. Um, this is done. So I've done, it's gone on to about six hours it's taken me to cook this. So we'll have a quick look and we'll see how we go. Moment of truth. Oh, it's pulled up, it's pulled up good. So you can see as it's pulled away there from the bone. Um, so I'm pretty happy with the, with the color and everything of it. So yeah, it's time to get it off and uh, let it sit, sit for a bit and then it should be ready to go. Hey guys, so that's it. That's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it cooking ribs it's, it's one of my hobbies i like to do other than playing rugby yeah please like subscribe and uh, i look forward to making some more videos and putting it on the channel have a great day and i think i'm about to go eat some ribs now <laughs>